What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Bird Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So I read the article with Tony Bellew uh, coming to the defense of um, Anthony Joshua, responding to the comments that Deontay Wilder made. Tony Bellew feels like it's disgraceful. He feels like it's distasteful. Tony Bellew says you should never kick a man while he's down. He says that Anthony Joshua should be... <clears throat> Uh, uh, praised and uplifted and 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 these guys should be thankful for Anthony Joshua because if it wasn't for Anthony Joshua then the guys wouldn't be making the amount of money that they're making now it's all due to Anthony Joshua Tony Bell you have you ever heard of a guy named Floyd Mayweather who broke all types of records have you ever heard of a guy named by the name of Asia De La Hoya have you ever heard of a guy by the name of Manny Pacquiao because they were doing huge numbers far before Anthony Joshua came along, Tony Bellew, right? Tony Bellew says that uh, don't kick him while he's down because uh, were we saying the same thing? Lennox Lewis lost to Oliver McCall, right? Uh, he says when um, Vladimir Klitschko got knocked out by Corey Sanders. So, you know, he's naming a couple of people you know, in reference to, you know, um, Anthony Joshua knockout loss, stoppage loss, should I say. Um, and he's saying, yeah, that absolutely. Is Anthony Joshua a finished, finished product? No, he's not. Is Anthony Joshua uh, the best boxer in the world? No, he's not. This is what Tony Bell, you said. He says um, he's not the best boxer. He's not the um, a finished product. He got a long way to go. He says... He's definitely going to be fighting for his career in the rematch. Uh, he said that this is the first time he's going to feel this type of pressure because he's definitely fighting for his career in the rematch. Then he goes on to name the best heavyweight in the world. He says that I have to go with Tyson Fury. I can't knock him for going with Tyson Fury. Uh, and then Andy Ruiz because he beat Anthony Joshua. My issue with Tony Bellew is this, is that Tony Bellew refused to give Deontay Wilder any credit. But when he was talking about Deontay Wilder, talking uh, um, smack about Deontay Wilder, and Deontay Wilder confronted him, Tony Bellew retracted everything he was saying. At one point in time, he said that he'll fight Wilder. So when Wilder confronted him, he said that he'll fight Wilder and he'll fight Tyson Fury. When Wilder confronted him, he said, I changed my mind. When a guy shook my hand, he covered my whole hand. And when he gave me a hug, he wrapped his arms around me twice. No, I'm not getting in the ring with him. But Tony Bellew campaigned a heavyweight uh, when he thought it was a cherry pick and David Hay. Right? So why didn't you... If, if Deontay Wilder is the worst heavyweight champion ever, why don't you fight him, Tony Bellew? Give him the opportunity. You campaigned, you thought that David Hay was a cherry pick. You beat David Hay twice. Right? You said David Hay wasn't was was hyped, was overhyped, and you beat him twice. So why not give Deontay Wilder that opportunity? You fought a heavyweight. You fought a guy in Ole Sander Usyk who just moved up to heavyweight. He didn't make his heavyweight debut yet, but he moved up to heavyweight, right? You got knocked out by 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 um Ole Sander Usyk. Why not give Deontay Wilder that opportunity? You got so much to say about him. And you're an actual boxer. See, there's a difference. You're not a journalist. You're not a reporter. You're not a promoter. You're not a manager. You're a fighter. So fight him. If you feel like his words are disgraceful, if you feel like uh, it's, it's distasteful in the manner he talks, if you feel like he's overrated, then fight him. That's what you thought about David Hay, and that's why you fought David Hay, right? So why not fight Deontay Wilder? We know why, right? So with that said, um, I'm not knocking Tony Bellew for feeling like Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight in the world after Anthony Joshua lost. Kudos to Tony Bellew. Everybody, everybody's opinion is their opinion. It's just that, right? So I can't knock that man for his opinion. 
But my thing is, it's, it's just convenient that he refuses to give Deontay Wilder any credit. He didn't want any credit. He said he was the worst heavyweight in the world before this. You understand what I'm saying? He was the worst heavyweight in the world before this took place. Now he's the worst heavyweight in the world again. And when I mean by that, he's saying he's the worst heavyweight champion to ever be a champion. Amazing, isn't it? So I'm not. Am I surprised that Tony Bell you picks Tyson Fury over um, Deontay Wilder? No. It, it, does he have a, a valid point? Yeah, everybody has an opinion. Tyson Fury is not a bad option. Tyson Fury is is the man who beat the man. You had a three-headed monster in Fury, Wilder, and Joshua, right? So if you, if whatever order you choose, my order is going to be Deontay Wilder. I think Deontay Wilder has the equalizer. So when he stepped through the ropes, doesn't matter what style you have, the chances of him winning are very high, right? Because he's just not, uh, um, uh, um, and then he goes on. He's just not Deontay Wilder. Is just not. Uh, a technical boxer. He's not just a, a, a you know, a, um, a, a offensive boxer. He has the equalizer and he's athletic. And then Tony Bellew goes on to say that Anthony Joshua is by far the most athletic heavyweight. Another lie. Another way to discredit uh, Deontay Wilder for Tony Bellew. Because you know that Deontay Wilder is the most athletic heavyweight in the heavyweight division right now. Bar none. It's not even close. Yeah, it's not even close, Tony Bellew. But the other way around. But the other way around. Okay, Anthony Joshua can't even dunk a basketball at six foot six. Deontay Wilder was going to play at, uh, football at the University of Alabama, arguably the greatest college program in the history of football, college football. You ain't going to just go there if you ain't no athlete. Trust me. Anthony Joshua wouldn't be playing for Alabama. Nope. So, um, you know, Tony Bell, you man, you need to go ahead and give Deontay Wilder that fade since you always have something negative to say about him. And I understand that Anthony Joshua is Tony Bellew's uh, close um, compadre, mate, friend, whatever you call it, whatever word you choose to use to describe it. That's all good. But it seems like you always have a way to discredit Deontay Wilder and never give him any props for anything. Right? We understand what it is, Tony Bellew. So Tony Bellew feels like Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight, then Andy Ruiz, Anthony Joshua is the most athletic, and Deontay Wilder should be grateful to Anthony Joshua for opening up the floodgates for these guys to get paid the way they get paid because that's all due to Anthony Joshua. That's not true. You ever heard of a guy by the name of Floyd Money Mayweather? His name is Money for a reason. But that's all I got. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. Tony Bell, you feels like Deontay Wilder should be grateful and graceful to Anthony Joshua. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.